Uh, I would say it's a lack of training. I, I would say it's the. Um, I would say it's also probably the isn't embraced necessarily from what I've seen. Um, so kids don't perform don't perform a lot of sports from early ages. Uh, also not multiple sports, what is now supposed to be the new gold standard that at early ages until 12 or 13, 14, until puberty, you should perform multiple sports to basically get a broad variety of skills that you can then use later to specialize in a sport. So I think that in India is, is not necessarily well developed in all places. Um, and yeah, I think we saw that when we moved to, when we went with the academy to Europe, that the kids also over there. I think the genetic point of view, I heard that very often in India. I, I don't know, but I would challenge it. I think one of the, one of the best arguments I've heard, I don't know who was it, is like if you go, for example, let's say you go through Bombay and then you see that small kids at the side, they are begging and they do some kind of gymnastic skills, right? So whatever skills they do, it's, it's fantastic. So if you get these, if you would get these kids into an organized program, I don't know why they shouldn't be elite gymnasts at some point in time. But again, sure. I think it's, there's no structure and yeah. that would facilitate it. So, but I mean, they do fantastic things. And we also, we had some athletes who were genetically very gifted in different areas. So I'm not sure whether that is, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't believe that. So, I mean, uh, that listening to you now, because uh, there was somebody who was asked uh, whether Indian players uh, mature late, I mean, but from based on what you say, the organized uh, training starts late, then obviously they, they tend to reach their uh, potential later. So I guess uh, the argument can be put, not just no, Indians no. mature late, it's just oh, that sure. we start an organized program later than the Europeans. For sure. I yeah. mean, you, you, you mature later, yes. Uh, the only problem I see with late maturing is you won't probably be a successful junior, but you can still be a successful senior, right? Yeah. So whether you win a grand slam with 22 or 27, I mean, you know, 